Before we get started, man, make sure you guys like the video and comment. What's the word of the day, Bridget? Patches. Patches is the word of the day. Before we like, before we get started, comment on, the, like the video, comment patches down below. That's gonna do two things for y'all. Number one, you'll be entered to win a fifty dollar gift card, a fifty dollars in cash app, fifty dollars in VC, whatever it is, or two K the extra regular ass edition, whatever you got. If you don't got two K, I'll buy it for you. That's number one. Number two, at the end of the month, if we can continue to average ten K views on these videos, we are giving away a next gen console, so you get a chance to get a PlayStation or an Xbox, whatever next gen console you want, man. That's all. That's all to it. All you got to do to get in on this stuff is like the video and comment something down below. You can go back and do it on other videos. Help us build those up and it'll increase your chances because the more videos you comment on and like the more chances you get to win it's real simple math man and with all that out the way good morning out there in 2k land man look check it out bro we're just gonna get right to it man money on the flow let's get straight to it that boy legged fan says I shift my stance on small guards and believe that they are extremely underrated, overpowered in the right hands. Been feeling this way for weeks, but feel like the consensus though, what does Laker fan think is that I think they're dog shit. And like I said, bro, I think that a lot of people think that these that the small guards are bad. They caught up in the 6'9 height. They caught up in the tester height where they where people are saying that the 6'9s are just as fast as the 6'1 and all that. And that's just complete another hogwash. It's it's just not the, the, the case. Y'all seen Brute with a 6'9. Y'all seen Brute with a 6'8. This is Brute with a 6'3 right here. Do you see how fast this dude is, bro? You see, you see how he able to collapse in there and get on that defense that quickly and then and just be able to kick it out? Look. With his 6'9", he is not covering this amount of space. Look, he goes from right here to, look at that, right there. Look at the, look at the amount of space he covers. This dude was able to get from right here to right here in literally two seconds. With a 6'9", you're not doing that. It's just not gonna happen. So he, he's, able to, he's able to threaten the defense so much. He's moving so fast that this dude, he's gonna come from the hash to try to pinch this. This guy gonna come here, he's gonna come down, and then that's gonna get him a great pass right here to Galaxy. And like, it's just crazy that people would think that these guys, that, that, I, I mean, I, was, I, was, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hold on, bro. Let me, let me look at something real quick. Was I open over there? No, nah, you couldn't have threw that pass. Though. I was open over there, man. He, he, he missed me right there, chat, but hey, He's still the best pass in the game. I was off that day. Y'all already saw me smoke a jump shot in the beginning, but you know it is what it is. Anyway, that ain't the point. The point is, these smaller guards are tough. And if you think that a 6'9 is just as good as a smaller guard, then uh, I dare you to see somebody running 6'9 in, in Pro-Am. The reason I think that the 6'9s are the most popular build is because when you are playing with your playing by yourself, if you are random and you playing with randoms, you need a build that can do every single thing. And the six nines are the most overall balanced build. They are the do everything build, but they're, they're, they're not the best build in the game, if that makes sense. So like, they like the, they like the, I don't even know what player to kind of to kind of um to kind of let them know they like the Paul Pierce or something like that. They're a player or the or the. Uh, Carmelo Anthony of the of 2K. They can do everything well, but they can't do anything uh, great. Like, look at that right there. He's able to go. Look, this this dude. You gonna tell me a six nine six nine probably would have just dunked on him? No, no lie. I ain't gonna lie about that. But, bro, this dude is literally. Look how look at the amount of space when he comes off this. He comes off this curl right here. Look at the amount of space that he's got. And then this guy's gonna drop further into the paint, and Brute is still gonna beat him to the rim. That is insane. Look, he still beat him to the rim. You telling me a 6'9 could have done that? I think a 6'9 would have just, he would have got met. I believe this is what I think would have happened with a 6'9 or, or what have you. He's, I think he's sitting that far back down there because I think a 6'9, he would have been able to, to bow it out and meet a 6'9 right there. He probably would have messed up the layup. But as it, as it stands, that dude is already by him. So like I said, if you really believe that them guys are just as fast, you, 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 you're just not in tune with the game and what's going on. Now, I will tell you this, though, that uh, they do have their place. Everybody does have their place, but it's just like, come on, man. We, we know what's going on with those, man. I think that this was a narrative that everybody was trying to push the, uh, so that people would, like I told, I told y'all, I was off that day, so that's that's why he ain't passed it to me. I understand. Good point, guard. It is what it is. But um, I think that it was a narrative that everybody was trying to push, so that everybody would go make those the bigger guards and stuff like that, make the six nines and and do that. And then what would end up happening is 
uh, the small guards will come and then they'll just be they'll just be fucking everybody up from from all over because you can't stay in front of them guys, especially if you got a six nine. So everybody out there with a six nine and you got a six three, you gonna be you gonna be the king of speed. You are gonna be a speed demon. You can't stay in front of them guys, man. The only thing you can do is cut them off uh, one way. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, we got the boy Cooks Iverson. He's asking this community: Would you consider this 2K a defensive game or an offensive game? And uh, one person said defensive game by far. Bro, I don't know if y'all actually play the games or if y'all if what y'all do. One person, Johnny Field, says shooting is inconsistent because every jump shot is almost uh, is almost a different time and plucks are very OP and random. They're not OP or random. You just keep dribbling into people. Um, really and really any skill. I mean, not. I guess he's trying to say not really any skill to it, which neutralizes any guard at. <laughs> it can neutralize any guard at any time. Movement is slow, so guards aren't aren't scoring like uh, previous years. Uh, yeah, it's not defensive by far. I think it's pretty balanced. I think if you if you got that if you have that opinion. I really feel like you haven't played anybody that's actually decent at the game because if you really look at it, if you look at the people like, that sounds like somebody that don't want to let go of the old game and you want to use the same stuff in order to be successful at this game. I think this one is pretty balanced. I play some guards in this wreck that can just flat out go get it. I play with the guard in the wreck that can just flat out go get it. And it don't matter what they do to him on the defensive end or any of that stuff. We done played pro-am teams in here. I see my guy Sid playing pro-am teams. I see everybody, uh, doing everything we got a center and a guard that can just literally flat out go get it we got other players that can flat out go get it too we play with hezzy that dude can go get it so i like i don't understand i think that anytime that we're saying that it's that is overpowered in the defensive way i just think that you don't want to let go of um you don't want to let go of the old game i don't think it's a defensive game at all i just think that it's an even game i mean i think it's pretty balanced as, as far as it goes and people are having issues with adjusting to the balance in that you're not going to be just completely overpowered and the defense is no longer completely at the mercy of you and i think the plucks the the, the to me the real thing with the plucks is not the fact that it's not the fact that you can get them. It's just the fact that a guard knows that he has to be somewhat wary of you because if he runs straight into you, he's probably going to lose the ball, as it should be. But at the same time, like, like they have to be careful with the basketball. Imagine a game where you got to practice being careful with the basketball or whatever. Just do what that dude did right there. That's all you got to do. Look, I'm trying to push him to the sideline right here. He knows that he don't have anything. He spots his guy right here. What did he do? He just passed the ball. That's what a good guard is going to do. Pass the ball, pull the dude to the middle of the floor, and you're going to get buckets. So I think that it's it's a very even game. You just We just have to come up with different ways to score. And that old antiquated way of just watch the guard get a million points and nobody needs to help him, that's just pretty much over with. That's my opinion, but y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Is it a more defensive or offensive game? That boy, Baluba, uh, the boy Derek Greer, he asked Baluba, he says, why can't y'all make openness and three point at and three point attributes the biggest factor in the size of the green window? It seems that this year your contest change your shot release point, but doesn't affect the size uh, of these. I'm trying to say of the green window. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Wow, S E N. Anyway, anyway, whatever. Uh, and Mike says openness has a huge impact on the green window. You might not be able to tell by the shot meter art, but. It's there. So more or less what he's saying is the more open you are, the more likely you are to hit the shots. Y'all just smoking the hell out these shots. Like it is what it is. I mean, Mike just said, look, man, if you open, you should be able to hit the shot. It's not my fault if you're ass. That's what it is, man. We don't need to change none of that stuff, man. Like right here, look, Gambit wide open. I don't know why he didn't take that shot though. I think it was, he was too close to Mac right there. Uh, the get did brought him in or whatever. That's one thing that I wish that, that we could control. Look at this right here. Look at, look at, oh my, shit, like, look, look, y'all talking about this is, this is just a straight up, Defensive game. Look at this right here, man. Look, this dude already knows Brute gonna threaten this right here. He done ran circles around him uh, over and over. This guy's gonna stand here and hold his spot because he think Gambit is gonna stay there, and then Brute's just gonna kick it back out to Gambit for the wide open shot. That's just that's just awesome basketball right there. Look, go Gambit moves subtly, trades up, splash down. Like I said, bro, you, this is gonna it's gonna be a team effort to score this year. It's not gonna be just watch one dude dribble the air out of the ball and uh and get busy, bro. And like I said, that just shows you right there on the six nine. I'm sure I'm sure that that center has been holding six nines and say I can guard the point guard, blah blah blah. But like I said, man, these smaller guards they they taking over the game, man. Up next we got NBA 2K uh 23 leaks and intel. He says you get the Jabberwocky outfit for 
see uh the level 40 reward in season two man that's gonna be dope man i mean it's gonna be fun in the beginning when everybody gets it uh but when everybody gets it it's, it's gonna become kind of lame i think that one thing that they should do and i keep saying this i wish they could make modular mascots or whatever so like with the devil walking maybe i can just have the hat on if i wanted to or i could just have the mask on if i wanted to or i could just have on the jacket or the pants or whatever if i wanted to not the whole outfit so i wish you could piece it together and then they just they just made the jabber walk instead of it being the whole outfit i wish it would be the shirt the the pants the shoes and then and then the mask because we got a thing for the mask and then the hat so you can dress up like the jabberwocky the total jabberwocky or you can dress up like uh you know just just uh partial if you wanted to i think that would make it 50 percent doper same thing with the skeleton man the Ske brother jones said the skeleton returns in season two y'all already know what the skeleton is but the biggest thing that y'all missing i got my shot i think i got my swagger back uh, I, uh but the biggest thing about this is that y'all are not seeing is the skeleton has on a hat and with that skeleton having on the hat that means that they might have done what i asked them to where you can dress the skeleton up that's all we wanted last year so like you can put on you can put on the skeleton hopefully it's gonna be like that you put on the skeleton and you can put on all the clothes on the skeleton and just be your head or it could just be your arms as a skeleton because you can put on a mask or something like that that'll be dope trays up splash down and i'm telling you bro i'm back on my i'm back on my pool in this game man it's great but I'm, i think that would be dope uh if they made it like that where you could do this with the skeleton but like i said you got the hat on him so i think that's gonna be uh that'll be fun if you can dress him up and do stuff like that you can be like a scarecrow or something like that up next we got the boy laker fan he says i gotta know the build y'all are getting bullshitted on in the paint so hard that shit don't happen to me or anybody i've played with they where 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 we constantly just lose because dudes hold their x button and make contested shit. uh only expect only exception being when zeke was on the 6-3 and i agree with that bro i don't understand that like i wouldn't bring it i'm gonna be real with you i wouldn't bring a 6-3 to the park either uh six threes if you bring a 6-3 to the park or something like that, you better stay in front on the scoreboard because if you get behind, they're just gonna call back doors on that 6-3 all day because they know he can't stop nothing. Like, that's the only thing that I'm seeing uh, like that where somebody just head, like like my boy Hezzy say, that's the only build that I am that, that I see where somebody can head button the rim over and over and you're gonna lose. But we don't lose because people do that, bro. Like, I just I just have not seen that us losing because somebody just decided they just wanna go to the rim and head butt it over and over and over and then, like, we just can't get a stop. Like once we realize that we set up some type of trap, we say gambit you go, brute you go, or whatever, and then we get to stop. But like I said, when you come out there, if you do have a small build or if you got somebody that doesn't have any um any interior, you are gonna be in some trouble. But T had a 6'4 that had interior that was getting stops down there. So like I said, I, I really don't know what the build is. Y'all let me know what y'all bills are and uh, all that good stuff. Up oh, next, we got we got Boomy the Big. He says, now the whole world knows free buckets anyone and then hey bro he out there in the western wildcats man bro i think everybody has known this for the last couple of years bro you go over to the wildcats you can get you some free you can get you some free buckets over there man. i ain't gonna lie that's why a lot of people be going man that's why a lot of people stay over there they whole stream and all that because they know what that is man no, it's just free buckets over there man but anyway man that's all i really got for y'all today man hopefully y'all guys enjoyed the video let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and one last thing man i'm to ask y'all is am i the only one that's like this am i the only one that's like this when you see please cash cash uh please see cashier actually i don't need gas anymore <laughs> hey i ain't gonna lie this is me you talking about hey it's me i'm Hey, that's me. When I see that, hey, I'm out of there, bro. I don't bow down to tyranny. If I wanted to go inside, I would have come inside initially. I'm not coming inside, man. Y'all let me know. Pause! Pause! I'm not going. Well, actually, I'm married, though, so I can cut. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure y'all, make sure y'all comment patches down in the comment section, like the video, and uh, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. <laughs> it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Chap. Guys,